Hi, this will be a, a quick and probably bad effort to make a demo of how Dragon Dictate can work, uh, or at least how it works on my system and some of the stuff you can do with it. Um, basically, I'm using Dragon Dictate to uh, for voice recognition using a headset, uh, a Logitech USB headset that plugs into, in this case, a MacBook Pro. Um, The Dragon Dictate software can do two things usefully for my uh, purposes. It can recognize text and type it in. And it can also map um, verbal commands to trigger uh, key presses or Apple scripts or things like that. Uh, I use it to trigger key presses and then I use another program called Keyboard Maestro to actually write the macro that is triggered by the key press, that's triggered by the vocal command in Dragon Dictate. So I'm going to just try to run through a simple example here. So I've turned on Dragon Dictate and this is the uh, kind of the controller box that always appears. You can make it bigger, smaller, show different things. It's really not the greatest program in the world. I wish it was better. It, it deserves to be better. Uh, I'm also going to turn on a mouse locator so you can see okay so this is the dragon dictate box and uh, I have a mouse locator program it, I find it helps a lot for especially hands-free stuff to know where your mouse and your actual cursor are positioned in the screen um, so this is the dragon dictate box as I said on the left here is another box by a program called keycaster uh, which basically helps you visualize key presses. So if I press the command key on my keyboard, you'll see that here this illuminates. Um, and if I make a, a key command on the keyboard manually, um, it gets sent into that just to show me as a, kind of a notification of what the corresponding key press might be for anything that's been pressed. So I'm going to run through a quick example verbally of uh, opening up a new tab. So for me I have this mapped to the voice command ta-da. Okay, except it doesn't work because I'm not actively in the right program. This is a good uh, point also for hands-free stuff is that it really helps you to know um, it helps you to know which uh, when you have all these different programs going, damn sorry, um, when you have all these different programs going to know where your cursor is, your your mouse, and to know which window is your active window. So I have a mouse locator utility. I have also a uh, haze over. It's a utility that allows you to basically make the focus on visually more apparent of which which screen you're on so you can kind of turn on, up and down uh, the darkness of whatever is not the currently active window so now that those are on uh, I'm going to show you that um, if I'm in another program I have verbal commands that can call up for example Firefox I call it gopher Okay, it's always in a demo that it doesn't work. Uh, gopher, well, I should already be there. Great, so this demo is off to a good start as uh, none of my stuff seems to be working. Ta-da! Normally when you make a command, it shows up under here. I'm going to just try turning it on and off. Gopher. Okay, so that showed up there. That basically calls Firefox, and then this is the corresponding command that is actually routed through uh, Keyboard Maestro. Keyboard Maestro is a macro editor and a, uh, an engine that recognizes when your macros have been triggered. Gopher. So I'm going back to Firefox. In Firefox now, I want to open a new tab. I've mapped this verbally to the command Ta-da! 
and uh, now I have a new window. So you see up here that text is appearing where the cursor insertion point is. Lecto, del. So you need to be aware of what's happening and where it's happening. Hence all the visualizers, lecto, del. So those two words are select all, but I've mapped it to lecto because it's shorter. Lecto, del. And you'll see down here that command A is being pressed when I say lecto. So those flash, they're highlighted. This, this shows up as my command that's recognized. Uh, going back up to the bar where my cursor insertion point is. Del, lecto, del. Del is my uh, way of saying delete. Lecto, del. Look up. I've programmed that phrase to basically do two things. Uh, look up presses command L which goes to the location bar both in Firefox and in uh, Chrome which are the two browsers that I use Lecto Dell it does that plus it inserts the um, exclamation point G which is uh, it's for a search engine called DuckDuckGo that I have installed. Lecto, Dell. It's the interrobang syntax. So you can see up here, drag and dictate doesn't recognize the word interrobang. It tries to say tarobane. Lecto, Dell. So the speech recognition is a bit buggy and weird, but once you know what the problems are, what to look for, how to avoid them, it gets better. And if you have enough RAM, you can go pretty fast, but you still have to edit. Lecto, Dell, look up. RAM for voice recognition, TAC. So that's just an example, Lecto, Dell. So that's just an example of a, a simple voice search um, and a little bit of how it's mapped. You know, Lecto, Dell. We're not talking about someone named Celeste, Cam, but the program thinks we are because. Uh, it's it's not got everything perfectly hammered out. The speech recognition is a little weird, like I said. Lecto, Dell. But there's a lot of cool stuff you can do with it. And if you're having problems uh, typing or um, with wrist and arm, arm pains from uh, excessive computer use or... Uh, well, I can think of a lot of other use cases for this too, but that's probably a good start and uh, a pretty accurate depiction of sort of the weird problems and, and uh, real life situations that come up when you start using this. Unrecognized words, commands that get dropped, um, key commands that get triggered when you don't mean to, uh, lecto, lecto, del. I had a Bob Marley song playing on Apple Music not long ago and uh, he was scatting and he said like some nonsense words and it basically triggered a bunch of programs to do weird stuff randomly on my computer because uh, he said some of my my uh, command words apparently in his song or at least that's what my uh, program thought so lecto lecto del it's not without its struggles but it's uh, the struggles are interesting, I think, and worth it. Tech.